the first thing the difference between the field due to a charge and that due to a dipole is that the field due to the dipole varies as 1 upon r cube instead of 1 upon r square as in the case of the charge right single charge it varies as 1 upon r square here it is varying as 1 upon r cube now the second thing the so so in in a charge if the distances were the same so for example this was a charge here and there was a field here and, and there was a field here equidistant say say here their magnitude will be the same directions will of course be different but the magnitude will be the same in case of a dipole that is not the case what happens in a dipole? In a dipole, even the magnitude changes, changes with the with the distance with, with the direction, right? So actually, the field in a dipole, the field in the field due to a dipole depends on depends on the angle between the angle between the position vector the position vector and the dipole moment and the dipole moment vector what is the position vector? Position vector since I, I, I take this as the origin. So this is the position vector. You get the point. This is the position vector. Here, this is the position vector. So it depends on what angle your position vector makes with the, with the dipole moment vector. That becomes important. Okay. So that is the point of difference between the dipoles and and so 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 the field of a dipole falls more sharply than that due to the due to the charge and why should it not because at larger distances at larger distances you see the difference in distance between these two points becomes starts becoming negligibly small right it starts becoming negligibly small so the field that this creates here and the field that this creates here they tend to get cancelled by each other. However, they will not fully cancel because they do not lie one over the other. Okay, they do not lie, they, they do not coincide. So there has to be that difference, but but still the the impact is to the, the total effect is to is to sharply decrease the field than what it would have been in the case of a single charge. Fine. Right? 